Hello box headers, welcome to another Craft Along instructions video. Uh, this is for our ice hockey player and we're going to do the helmet and the hockey stick and the hockey puck. And here we can see the um, the sheet of paper that goes along to make, I'll just remove the, the head from the helmet there, that goes um, to make our, our helmet for our ice hockey player. And you can see in the background there. You can see sort of like just showing you the inside where the tabs go and um, then also the ice hockey stick. Where's that gone? There it is. Ice hockey stick all stuck together. That's what we're going to be crafting um, from the um, the sheet that uh, has been printed from um, the website www.boxheadspapercrafts.com. There's links and things all over the place in this video um, and in the comments and in the things and the things. Um, but yeah, let's go. Now this is this is quite a tricky one. This, um, there's obviously the helmet that we're going to cut out. There's the um, puck that you can see just down to the bottom right there. And then there's two parts, the hockey stick. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to um, cut out... Um, Around the um, around the helmet and um, separate those pieces. So the first sort of piece that I'm separating out is going to be the puck. As I say in all these videos, take your time with this, especially this one. This is um, quite tricky. There's lots of little tight turns and corners. Um, so try and keep your scissors as straight as possible, whether you're left-handed or right-handed. Um, and try and keep a nice tidy crafting station as well. So I've left the helmet and that to one side while I um, cut out all these uh, little tricky tabs along the um, puck. Now I'm going around each of these little tabs, just taking my time. You can, you might notice how still I'm keeping the scissors. I try and keep the scissors in, in one position rather than moving the scissors around, I move the paper around the scissors and it just makes it a lot easier it stops me from poking or scratching myself by moving the scissors around too much and getting around those tricky corners is a lot easier see I'm just twisting the paper around with that opposite my, le my left hand as you look at it you might be left handed and so the most important hand would be your right hand um, to move that paper around your scissors in the left hand. Your scissor cutting hand basically just sort of like you just press gently as you're making a cut. And then move the paper. And then make another cut. Try and keep those scissors nice and nice and straight. That straight sort of like um, from the bottom to the top and also along the table as well. Yeah, I'm just showing you there. I think I've got a little... A little sort of white bit that I've, I've uh, missed, the, missed the cut on, so I'm just going back and trimming that out. You can either do that as you're cutting along, or you can cut the whole thing out, and then you can go back along and see if there's any um, any white bits of um, paper that you don't need. Now you can either, rather than letting things sort of dangle off and get in the way, you can pull them off or, or trim them off, and you can go back to um, cutting nice and freely. Take your time with these cuts. You don't have to um, cut as fast as I'm doing in this video, although I'm sure some of you are cutting faster than I can. Um, but yeah, if you find that you, you're um, not able to keep up, there's no problem with pausing the video and um, either sort of like getting up to where you need to be or taking a break as well. This um, this cutting video, well, it's cut, fold and stick together the uh, the helmet and the, the hockey pieces. Um, this video is just over half an hour long. Um, so don't feel that you have to do it all in one sitting. Take your time and um, yeah, take breaks whenever, whenever you feel that you're getting either frustrated or you need a snack or a drink. Okay, we're going straight into um, folding. Um, folding the um, paper craft puck. And there's four folds to make on that side, another four on this side. The um, These folds that I'm making for these little um, black tabs, all those black tabs are going to go on the inside of the puck. There's the um, one face of the puck there. And what we're going to do is, there's no fold line for this, but we bend round 
that long strip all the way around. You can sort of see how it's coming together there, like so. Um, but let's go through and stick it together bit by bit. So if you can see how that end bit is going to tuck in on the inside eventually. There. It's quite tricky. It's a, it's a small, it's the smallest, almost the smallest part. Maybe the end of the ice hockey sticks a bit smaller. Um, but yeah, you can see how that'll tuck inside. But it'll, um, let's go through it um, together as we stick those bits in. We've got our, um, and just take your time to sort of like bend that paper around, line up where you want it to be. And we've got our nice handy dandy um, tape dispenser there. So we can hold the paper to with one hand and um, get a bit of sticky tape and bend that over the um, bits that we want stuck together. Onto the next tab, take your time to um, bend that around the corner. It's not, a, it's not a full fold, it's just a bend of the paper so there's no dotted line to go around. You just sort of well, yeah, my, the, the pictures probably explain it a little bit better than I can, but you just bend in that paper around that sort of rounded rounded square that is the face of the puck. Okay, this is where the uh, the end of um, the puck sort of tucks in. So I'm tucking that on the inside. You can see there's that TM trademark sign on the, on the, on the other side, just near where my left thumb is and we're just going to tape it over there that's just tucked in on the inside like so I'll show you the inside how all those the the tabs um sort of like fold in on the inside and help to keep our hockey puck all in one piece just a few more bits of sticky tape Just some little bits on each side just to hold it all together and hold it in place. Try not to use too much sticky tape, although it's um, see-through, the less you use the, the sort of the tidier tidier it will look. And there you have it, there's our um, there's our paper toy hockey puck. We'll pop him with the uh, up there with the body that we did um, in the first video. Um, back on to the, um, well, we're going to do the hockey stick now. So we are still sort of like cutting around the, the helmet as well. That joins on to the hockey stick a little bit, but we've got those cut lines that we um, snip through. Remember, turn the paper around the scissors, and we'll separate those two there. A nice big tab to um, cut along and cut out there. I suppose what make, makes this tricky is sort of like the the, um, the paper sort of gets in the way and we've got to navigate around. This is quite a tricky bit where the, that tab is, but I'm just going, going to cut straight down the sort of side and back of the, the helmet there, follow the curve around, and then um, just trim that straight out so we don't need to deal with sort of like the... Um, the whole of the helmet while we're just trimming down the two bits that we need for our um, ice hockey stick. So we're going to make a cut that sort of splits those two um, pieces of the stick there. Leave that the bottom part there while we do the, um, the top um, handle of the hockey stick I guess this bit is. So just following those um, cut lines, those solid long lines that are sort of a, for this hockey um, particular hockey player, they're sort of like a, a gold or a dark yellow um, colour. You'll see there's a little square on each sheet that um, tells you um, what the cut lines look like and then what the uh, fold lines look like. The cut lines are like, I say, these um, sort of gold, dark yellow um lines that go all the way around. They might be different depending on which ice hockey play you've um, downloaded and printed. And then the fold lines, you can see there's some there right on the end. Those bits are going to tuck in and make the uh, 
make the ends of the stick. And we've got four folds to make along the length of the stick. Just bend the paper around the fold line and press it together when you're happy with them, um, that you've got it sort of like in the middle of that fold line. It doesn't have to be a, a, a proper sort of um, hard, hard fold, like you don't need to run your fingernail along the fold line or anything like that. Just bend, bend and pinch and that'll be fine. And then we've got um, one of those sides is going to tuck in on the inside of our stick. So we don't have five sides to the stick, but we've got four sides to the stick, that fifth one that tucks on, on the inside. I'm going to stick some tape on there and then I'm going to line up those, um, those, those coloured strips that go all the way around the, uh, the length of the, the hand, stick handle. Okay, there's those little tabs that are going to sort of, we can uh, nudge inside, push inside, so we get sort of like a bit of a rounded end to um, our stick. And both ends will be sort of rounded. And same for the other end as well. One of those ends you won't be able to see it because it is actually going to go on the, um, at the inside of the... Um, the hockey, the whole stick. I'll show you in a bit. It's easy. Sometimes it's easy to show you, rather than having to put it in words. But the um, the, the the other part of the um, hockey stick is going to go on the inside there. And um, let's get a little bit of tape just to um, stick that end part. And there, you can sort of see what I mean in the top right hand corner. You can see there's a completed stick there. Um, but yeah, there's our handle. Keep it uh, close by and handy while we cut out the, um, I don't know what you call this part of the hockey stick, the 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 the, um, the business end of the hockey stick, the, the slapper, the slapping bit, the bit that slaps the puck, the puck slapper. We'll call it the puck slapper. So this is our puck slapper stick end and... Um, what I'm going to do is, rather than go in between all those little bits, I'm just going to make a nice um, long cut straight along there, and then I'll go back and trim all those other bits out. You can do the same with the puck. The puck's sort of a similar um, shape to this, or it's got similar um, cuts in there. But there you go, trim your way all the way down and around there. And then I've done that so that sort of it's, it's just a different way to cut it out. It sort of um, you can makes it a little bit easier maybe just to cut those little squares out um, rather than having to turn it round with a big flap of paper getting a new way around the back. Um, e either way, what, whichever you feel most comfortable with. But we'll get rid of those little white squares of um, paper, which is now rubbish. Just move that to one side, keep it out of the way of the, the bits that we need to keep. Keep a nice tidy craft area. And once we trim out those last two bits of um, white rubbish paper, then we'll be able to um, start folding our, what did I call it, our puck slapper. The puck slapping part to our uh, ice hockey stick. So again, similar to the puck, we've got some um, tabs to fold in, just bending those around the um, fold lines, and there's some bigger fold lines there, and the same on the other side as well. So you can see there's those little dotted, little dotted lines there, which is where we want to make our fold lines. There's another one there in the middle, That we've bent round and round that side as well and then those three little three little tabs and we're ready to stick this together now this isn't going to go all the way around we're not going to get a complete shape here because at the uh, at one end the end that you can see there 
we're going to leave that open so we can put the other um, the stick part of our the handle part of our hockey stick in there. See, it's going to slot in there, and then we're going to sort of um, move it into position once we've got this stuck together. So, a little bit of tape. around that part there and we just bend it around just like we did with the puck just bend it around the um the sort of the slappiest part of the um the puck slapper and just a little bit of bits of tape just bend it around i'm going to leave that side now and, and concentrate on the other side you can see i've been able to tuck my middle finger inside the puck slapper um, and the, what that middle finger is doing is it's hold, holding onto the tabs and um, so we can sort of make that um, make that shape and it helps to um, keep things together while we while we stick the tabs while we stick those sides together there we go there's the last of um, the tape there before we um, smooth that up that out a little bit before we pop in our um, our stick, so there's our stick going into our um, handle of the handle of the stick going into the um, puck slapping part there. There we can see we've got it on a nice sort of forty-five-ish degree angle, and then we just need to add some more tape there stick the two parts together so one part sort of round there if you find you've got too much tape then just um, trim it down or wrap it round I've just trimmed it round we can actually use that part of the tape for on the other side sort of like that inside part where the handle where the stick handle meets the puck slapper not like the same puck slapper um, anyway yeah there we've got our hockey stick and our puck. There we go, all ready to go. Now we just need to um, trim the rest of our helmet. So we've got some bits trimmed. We just need to trim out the rest of those, uh, the white bits on this helmet. So there's a little bit on, that's the sort of like, that's going to be the back end of the helmet. Keep our craft area nice and tidy. And yeah, really take your time with this because it, it is there's a lot of little tricky tabs to sort of like cut around. And the rest of the helmet sort of can sort of get in the way a little bit. But take your time, take a break if you need it. Remember, try and keep those scissors as straight as possible. Take your scissors out of there out of the paper if you find that they're sort of like getting caught and in the way. Watch your, fing your fingers on your left hand as well or on your non-cutting hand. And yeah, just make some nice, slow, smooth cuts. Remember you can pause this video as well to sort of if you find that you're Getting behind a little bit, um, rewind it back, and um, if if you get a little bit lost, rewind the video back just to make sure you've you're keeping up and you've done all the right bits. Just trimming out some of the side of the helmet there, and then this bit. This is sort of like the um, the strap on the side of the helmet that we're. Cutting along and cutting around, see how I'm moving the paper around um, the corner there rather than sort of moving the scissors. Try and keep your scissors um, nice and straight and out in front of you rather than bending your scissors around the paper. I've taken my scissors out there. I've just got a little bit to trim off there. Oh, watch your hands. Those pointy ends of the scissors. Just 
and there's no the, yeah there's no sort of like set way to do this it, it's whatever sort of like however it feels the most comfortable for you or the least uncomfortable perhaps is a better way to put it but it is tricky it's a tricky challenge and um that's what these paper toys are for. They're, they're not meant to be sort of like simple and straightforward and, and easy. It's meant to be a bit of a challenge um, because that mean, makes the the making of it all the more um, pleasant and pleasing at the end, at least. Anyway, this can be a bit frustrating, I understand. Um, but it's, um, it's, it's um, helping you learn and um, improve your uh, your fine motor skills is what it's called so sort of hand eye coordination and you know how you can um, control um, your hands to make small um, to, to make small pieces and um, how you handle those so it's, it is it's a good exercise and once you've once you've sort of you've downloaded a paper toy character from the um, from my website, um, it's yours forever, so you can print off as many as you like and craft as many as you like um, for your own personal use, of course. Um, or if you te if you're um, a teacher, probably a primary school teacher, um, early high school teacher, you're more than welcome to um, print off as many as you need for the class as well. Um, just don't go printing them off and, and um, reselling them because it's uh, it's not very nice. Um, but anyway, back back to the crafting. We've done one side of the helmet here, um, just along in, in those tricky bits. You can see, I'm, yeah, that's better. Move the paper around. This is not the other way around. There we go, and just sort of pinch out any bits of uh, white card, white paper, white card that you don't need. This is um, the paper that I've printed this uh, helmet on. Um, is the same as the body. It's about 160 GSM. GSM represents sort of the... Well, you tell me. Tell me in the comments what GSM means and what that means for the paper. Um, you can use standard photocopier paper, which is about 90, 80 to 90 GSM. Um, and you'll get a perfectly good um, paper toy, paper character out of that as well. Um, this paper is just the paper slash card is just a little bit sturdier just gives our um, paper toy character a little bit more strength there we go just trimming around those straps or what will become our straps that um, bit that I'm just trimming out there that's going to fold into that onto the inside of the other side of the strap so you've got the outer strap there and then um, you can see that fold line there that will um, bend in for the inside of our strap. And there you see, just taking my time to see, I've got a little white bit that I've missed there. So I'll go back in and just make a, a nice little trim just to trim that down, get rid of the rubbish. And then we're back in for the final few cuts at the front of our helmet. So again, just moving that paper around, especially around curves as well. Try and make your, um, your cuts nice and smooth when you're going around the corners of the helmet there. And then trimming those little white bits out there. That I, I find them to be the trickiest bits. Sort of where you've just got little squares in between the tabs to trim down and cut out. And then one last long cut along the front there. You can see the number and the badge. And there we go. There's the helmet all cut out and ready to be folded. So there's two really, um, two of the longest folds are where the, hel the side of the helmet meets the, meets the um, top of the helmet. So just bending the paper around the fold line, pinching it together, and then, like I mentioned before, those straps. So there's fold, long fold lines there. We've got the outside of the strap there, and we've bent that around so we've got the inside there. You can see there's some little white bits. We'll come back and we'll trim those down later on once we've um, stuck things together. 
well, once we start sticking things together, another long um, fold there. That's just so we've got a bit of um, colour all the way around the strap. Um, but now we've got some little tabs that we can just um, bend over and, and fold in because they're going to hold the um, that central part of the helmet. They're going to hold um, that into the um, to the sides. Just all the way along for those bends, we've got a couple more uh, for those tabs. We've got a couple more to fold in there, and then we're ready to um, we're ready to start sticking sticking our helmet together. So we'll start at the front and we'll, um, as a handy dandy tape dispenser, and we'll, um, oops, we'll just bend that, uh, we'll sort of, we'll bend in the paper around so that the tab tucks in. Just a little bit of tape. We've got that tab holding onto that tab on the inside of the helmet as well. And then our last tab there goes right at the front. We've just bent the paper. Just off screen there. But you, you, I, I hope, I hope you get what I mean. Come back on screen. Come on, push it up a little bit more. Got a tab going in there. Sorry about this. And I'll, I'll end up reshooting this video, I'm sure, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Oh, I've brought it back into sight for the camera for that last little tab there. It's only for a couple of little bits that I've just trim, trimmed off, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, then we'll get some tape for our, um, for our straps. And eventually we are going to, you'll see, we are going to bend... The um, straps. We're not going to make a complete fold. We're going to bend the straps around the head later. But yeah, just going back to trim those little white bits off, just to make our helmet a little bit tidier. Get rid of those little bits, and then we can start to um, fold the rest of this side of the helmet. So you can see how my finger sort of like keeps hold. My left hand, that finger keeps hold of the tab between finger and thumb. And then it's great to have that tape dispenser just to use my other hand to grab some tape and then stick it together. Same for this one as well. I've got a longer tab, so maybe a slightly longer piece of tape. Stick it down on one side, and when it's lined up, fold it over. And just like with um, cutting things out, if you find that you, you need a bit more time to stick things together, then um, pause the video, take your time to... Um, stick those pieces together and then press play and carry on um, and join in where you left off. Okay we've got the other side of um, the helmet, the other strap to do now. Pinch those pieces together. I've got a white strip there you can see but that's on the inside of the helmet and I'm quite happy to sort of leave that as is and then continue with um, See that tab there just getting tucked in and sticking the rest of the helmet together. It's that long tab for the back of the helmet. Bit of a longer piece of tape. Sticking it on the side of the helmet then you can see you can still separate it and adjust it and then um, stick it down when you're, when you're happy with where you've got it. And one last little bit there, that final tab, and we've got our we've got our helmet all lined up and ready to go to fit on our to fit on our ice hockey player's head. Let's move the tape out of the way just so we've got a little bit more room, um, and I'll show you how the the head sort of fits in. You've got to um, fold tuck in those ears a little bit, and the hair should sort of like squish in and take care of itself. And if you can see, I'll, I'll show you how sort of like the arms of the um, the body get in the way of those straps at the moment. 
so they're dangling down nicely there but then you can see there how the strap comes down it sort of covers the arm a bit too much so what we're going to do is we're going to bend those um, straps though so that they go underneath the head so we'll just leave the head to the side and then all we're going to do is just going to sort of like start to pinch and, and bend the paper round a bit we don't need to be too too aggressive with it just nice and gentle and start to sort of bend it around your finger see how I'm bending it around my finger there and then that's just going to sort of curve and curl the paper a little bit and do it a little bit more because we want it tucked straight right underneath um, our player's chin and a little bit on this side as well it's just bending the paper just pinching it together between your finger and thumb and then sort of bending it around your finger and you'll start to see you get a nice curve to the paper and we'll show you now how again hold his ears in we'll hold the ice hockey player's ears in whether it's a him a her or a they and um, there you go you can see how those straps now tuck in and um, fold underneath the body am I gonna I think I'll um, I'll stick the head to the body and then we can see sort of like how that all comes together as well so I've got a nice long bit of tape and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop it around and stick the two ends together oops you can see sort of there how it's made sort of like a cylinder a cylinder of tape so all the sticky stuff is on the outside and what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna squish that down onto the um, sort of like the, the player's body, um, sort of the player's neck in a way, and then put the um, the bottom of his head, stick that there, stick that down so it's in place, tuck that hair in, tuck those ears in, and then he's ready for his, um, for his helmet. Tuck that hair in, and just gently push in. It's not easy putting on somebody else's helmet, there we go and then we can see the sort of those straps have got that nice curve on and then we can tuck those in in between the body and the head straighten them out sort them out and there you go we've got our um, ice hockey player all um, all ready and um, to start skating so he'll need um, he'll need an ice hockey rink to go skating on um, and that's what we're going to do in our next video so um, stay tuned for part three with the ice hockey rink. So our, our ice hockey player um, is, um, has a net to shoot into. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.